What, I'm your poodle now? You tell me to stay, so I stay? Thank you. Well, your, your assistant wasn't going to let me in, but I brought my hall pass. The divorce papers. Signed and ready to make it official. I, uh, you could feel free to pop open the champagne when I leave. I would love to join you, but I'm sure Julia would knock the glass out of my hand. <clears throat> okay. Bye. I asked you to stay. I meant that. Why? Because I'm so much fun to be around? Well, beware, Mr. Privacy, because they're about to pave a road straight through your office right up to my face, so everyone can stand in line sharing their god-awful opinions with me. When did you start listening to other people? Well, when people are yelling and screaming in your ear, calling you a baby-stealing slut and a friend-betraying jerk, it's kind of hard not to hear them. Oh, and this is just the warm-up. Now I've got to worry about David and Jack and what they're going to say. Tell me what to do about the pregnancy. Tell me how horrible I am and that I should rot in hell. And... Excuse me. It's my mother. This is the 18th time today she has called me up. When I was on trial for murder with a fake pregnancy, that was better than this. I'm telling you, if one more person calls me today and bugs me... Say the word. What? Say the word and I'll make it all go away. One peace, I'll give you peace. No friends, no family, no strangers either. Okay, if you want to lock me in a closet, that would be nice. No, come and go as you please. What, do I click my heels together three times, or do you whip out your magic wand? <laughs> no, wands are old school. It's later. Yeah, I have a first-class ticket to the islands. Right, I need another one. Kendall Hart Slater. Light sands, balmy breezes, and virgin coladas. Very tempting. But what would your wife say? I don't know. What will my wife say? The divorce of my dreams. Take me away. 